Now, we want to find the variance and the standard deviation from this data given to us. All right. So you said below the below are the ages of 40 students. All right. So we want to find the variance and the standard deviation. And we have we've gotten the mean already that has 14.25. 14 now, before you can find your standard deviation or even your variance or your variance or your standard deviation, you have to get your mean first. You have to get your mean first. So now we have our mean. So now, what's the formula for variance? Now, the formula for variance, all right, because we are going to work according to the formula. Formula for variance is summation f into x minus x bar squared over summation f. All right, summation f multiplied by x minus x bar squared over summation f. That's the formula for variance. All right, now, meaning our table, this table was used to get the mean. Now, meaning our table must have x minus x bar, because you have to get that first. Our table must have x minus x bar squared, x minus x bar squared, and finally, our table must have f multiplied by x minus x bar all squared. All right? Our table must have all this information for us to be able to get the variance and the standard deviation. Now, let's proceed. Now, so what do we have now? We have x minus x bar. Now, what is the meaning of x minus x bar? Of course, x are your items. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, what is your x bar? Your x bar is your mean. All right? So we're going to be doing x minus x bar for each case. So you have 12 minus 14.25. You're going to have what? 2 minus, you're going to have minus 2.25. All right? Now, you're going to, the next one, you're going to do x minus x bar, which is 13 minus what? 14.25. You're going to have minus 1.25. And the next one, you're going to have 14 minus 14.25, you're going to have what? 0 0.25. All right? You're not, you're not just going to have 0 0.25. You're going to have minus 0 0.25. But this will not really matter, Sha, as we go. It will not really matter as we go on. Now, so you have x minus x by again. That's 15 minus 14.25. All right? 15 minus 14.25, you're going to have what? 0 0.75. All right, so this one is going to be 0 0.75. Now you're going to have 16 minus 14.25. That's going to give you what? So you have 16 minus 14.25. That's going to give you what? 1.75. All right, you have 17 minus 14.25. All right, that is going to give you what? You have 17 minus. 14.25 that's going to give you what 2.75 and then when you do 18 minus 14.25 25 is going to give you what 3.75 that's how it goes so for your x minus x bar this is what we have all right now we have to get x minus x bar squared all right so we're going to square each of these things all right so it's going to become 2.25 to the power of 2 for the first one we're going to have 5.0625. 5.0625. Alright, for the first one. Now for the next one, we are going to have minus 1.25 squared. Alright. Now you are multiplying this in two places. So the minus will not really matter. Alright. So this is going to be equal to what? This is going to be equal to 1.1.25 squared. That's going to be equal to 1.5. 625 1.5625. Now you have 0 0.25 squared. All right, 0 0.25 squared is going to give us what 0 0.0625. 0 0.0625. Now the next one you're going to have is 0 0.75 squared. 0 0.75 what squared. Now 0 0.75 squared that's going to be equal to 0. Point zero point five six two five. The next one I'm going to have one point seven five squared. One point seven five squared. That's going to be equal to what? Three point zero six two five. The next one is going to be two point seven five squared. Two point seven five squared. That's going to be equal to 
7.5625. All right. Now, the next one is going to be 3.75 to the power of 2. All right. Now, you have 14.0625. So, this is what we have for all your x minus x bar squared. All right. Now, next one we're going to do is f times x minus x bar squared. So, we're going to use the frequency to multiply each of these. So, the first one, we're going to have 5 times 5.0625. So, using the frequency to multiply x minus x bar squared, we have all this. Now, this is, when we multiply this, we get 25.3125. When we multiply this, we actually get 18.75. I just added 00, 0 to the back. So, all of them could align with four decimal places. All right? Let all of them align with four decimal. That's why I left it with zero zero. If you can see, this is zero point six two five. But I added zero here. I added zero here too, so that all of them could be in four decimal places. All right. It makes your table more um, presentable. All right. Now the next thing we have to do is find what summation of all of these. Because do not forget the formula for variance is summation f times x minus x bar squared. All right. So we have to sum all of these. So now let's sum all of this. What are we going to have? All right. So if we add all of this, we are going to get what? 121.5. Alright. Now we have the summation of f into x minus x bar squared. So now we can get our variance. Alright. So our variance is going to be what? 121.5 divided by. Now summation f is the summation of all the frequencies, which is what? 40. Alright. So you're going to have this divided by this. Alright. So you're going to have 121.5, 121.5 divided by 40. That is going to give us what? 3.0375. All right. Now, it is going to be approximately 3.04 to two decimal places. All right. So if we're looking at two decimal places, it's going to be what? 3.04. Now, we've gotten our variance. Now, let's move ahead to getting our what standard deviation now standard deviation what's the formula for standard deviation all right standard deviation and the formula for standard deviation is what square root of what summation f into x minus x bar all squared over summation f all right now that tells you that the formula for standard deviation is simply the square root of what variance all right so, meaning if you've gotten your variance, you can easily get your what? Standard deviation. So, our standard deviation is going to be equal to what? Square root of what? What our variance? Our variance is what? Now, do not use the round handed up value. Use the real value you got. So, you have 3.0375. All right? So, our standard deviation is going to be equal to what? Square root of what? 3.0375. That's going to be equal to what? 1.74. Let's leave it to two decimal place. So our standard deviation is 1.74, while our variance is 3.04. All right? So now, that will be the answer to our variance and our standard deviation. Can you see? Very easy and fast. All right? Now, do not forget to like this video, share this video. Now, make sure you subscribe. Do not just pass this video without subscribing. Subscribe and hit the notification button. And feel free to give a comment in the comment section in case you might have a question. I'll do it to give you an answer. And do not forget, Jesus loves you. Thank you.